No, it's hard to believe, but I actually try to pass on some figures from time to time, especially when I already got like eight poison ivies. When on this whole designer series thing, this is kind of, it's definitely an area where I like to try to pass. I don't always pass on it, but occasionally I do. And when they started doing this bombshell line, I was like, well, I'm definitely going to get that Harley. And then I saw somebody else do a review on this poison ivy. And it was like, man, that is a really good toy. I think I need to get this. But the whole bombshell thing, that to me, that's like a an excuse for thick girls to think that they're hot. And I'm not buying into that. But I am buying into this poison ivy. So because I love you guys so much, I always try to go the extra mile. And by doing that, I pull out all the Poison Ivies. And I'm pretty sure this is all the Poison Ivies that they've made in 6 inch or 7 inch scale. And while we're talking about scale, look at this thing. Like, can somebody make up your mind? Is it going to be 6 inch? Is it 7 inch? Like, like it is literally just all over the place. So... You got this old Mattel one, she's standing, let me get the camera right, just a little under six inches. The one we just got is like just a little above six inches. And then this Amazon one is like seven inches. And then I think this was the Hush one. This is like my favorite Poison Ivy of all time. That one is really good. I'll show you, I'll probably, fuck it. I'm just gonna show you all of them because for one is Poison Ivy she's hot and who doesn't want to look at poison ivy all right i'm just going to go ahead and show them all to you real quick i'm sure everybody's seen this one before this is one from the five pack she actually has different color eyes than the other one so here she is really good figure like it a lot and i think this is like i don't know either earth 2 new 52 something like that too and not really a big fan of this like this just isn't really poison ivy to me so whatever on that then you have this one and you notice that most of these poison ivies have stands because good luck trying to get one of these things to stand on their own longer than two weeks and this one i liked a lot she's just really tall but this outfit is like amazing like these flowers are or these leaves sorry are sculpted on her legs uh, it'd be nice if they turn at the ankle it doesn't but really good toy like definitely like that one then you have um, the Mattel one. This one was actually kind of hard to come by if you weren't a subscriber to that stupid shit that they always do. But really good job. Like that paint job, it, it's pretty much perfection. And this is from Mattel. So bravo to them for doing a pretty decent toy. And then the, the joints on this are really clean. Like I like these thigh joints a lot. Um, kind of whatever on the rest of it. Painter to toenails. And then you got this big crazy Amazon one. Man, I kind of forget the line. Is it Alex Ross or something that did this one? But just crazy tall, over seven inches tall. Like if this was smaller and her skin wasn't so flesh toned, like I would actually really dig this one. But um, well, I dig that part. I guess that's pretty cool. But yeah, she's still tall though. And then you got um probably my favorite one in the set i'm pretty sure this is like from the hush batman it's got a nice piece of fur on the branch right there so try to get that off man how much this is what happens when you guys got dogs so you dog owners you know what i'm talking about right now so here she is amazing toy great tits on this one like those things are like perfect little fake oranges on there so did a great job on that these joints also really clean like that's man that's a good looking toy right there probably my favorite one then you have the video game one which i was hoping that they're going to do a new one for the video game because this one it just looks off to me like i mean it's sculpted perfect the paint job's perfect it just the design of this toy with like this motorcycle hair 
I don't know, man. Like it, it's it's hard. She's got Arkham on her back. Like it, more of a thong would have been much appreciated. That didn't happen. Okay, so I'd like to say that this is action figure perfection. Like the bombshell thing took caught me off guard for sure. But when you look at this toy up close, like everything about this toy visually is perfect. Like look at the size of those titties. Like they were not stingy at all. Like those have got to be double D's. And then she comes with a hand that can actually hold those things. Well done, DC collectibles. Well done indeed. So this is also like another one of her like modeling hands. And then she also has these um, grabbing hands that like grab that flower. I went ahead and put one of those on there. And then I put this booby grabbing hand on there. Really well done. The plastic that they use is like this green plastic. It's just a it's just a perfect color. Definitely like it. This, these tattoos, really good job on those as well. And she comes with this vine that kind of like wraps around her. I don't know if they really got it on there the right way or not, but it looks really cool. And it has like that, what do you call it, Venus flytrap mouth. I know that's not what it is, but I'm not real sure what that's called. And she does come with a rose, a separate rose. Also, really nice touch. The articulation on this, man, these joints are so loose. It's just like, good luck. Like, she will not stand. Like, this is like... She will not stand two minutes without an action figure stand. So this could have been a perfect toy if she actually could stand longer than 15 minutes. And she does have these high heels on her. Like if you get her in just the right pose, she probably could stand for a little bit. And this ankle joint on here, let's go ahead and look at this. Because with this high heel, like it just, that's just really clean joint. Like, I mean, I'm all about the clean articulation. Then... And she's got this crazy ankle pivot, probably the best ankle pivot in the game. That's really nice. And she has these, I don't know if these are supposed to be tattoos underneath or like green pantyhose or if those are like in the, yeah, fuck it, who cares? It looks amazing. Like that is just really well done. Then she's got like this overextended tramp stamp on her back. Like she went all out on that. So, and then she has this neck tap that wraps like all the way around her neck. So that's also really well done. Like, like I'm really digging this toy. The thigh joint on it is it um on the RT, Let me go ahead and pull this thing off or out of the way. It has it. It actually can come down right there in the hip, so you can get these legs up a little bit better, like to display her. But then if you got to look at that, it kind of ruins what you really are trying to look at. And but you know it, it gives you that option. And then she can, she has that thigh joint. This is my least favorite joint of all time, unless they do something like this. So they divide it with the pantyhose. Now that joint is cool. Man, that vine it really uh really locks on her, huh? Man, that thing is not. It's like part of her. So then she has her double knee goes all the way back. That's, I mean it. it it's pretty nice, really nice actually. The thigh joints we already went over. She does have this weird ab crunch. I actually think the toy would look better without that because that kind of takes away from the look of the toy. And then she does have this little, like right here underneath her bra, great hidden articulation on that. She turns a little bit there, not much, and she also can crunch a little bit there. So that's enough articulation for me on that because it looks so goddamn good. So not bad at all and she does have the bicep swivel um that's hidden so that looks really nice hold on and then the shoulder um great movement on that and that's also a really clean joint so i'm all about the clean articulation then she does have the double elbow which i kind of like the single elbow better but i'm probably the only one out there that does and then the same wrist joint you've been getting forever. The head, you don't get a whole lot of movement out of that because of this hair. And I really don't know how you could avoid that. Maybe make the hair, it's already kind of soft, but whatever. There she is. Great looking toy. Highly recommend it. Hopefully if you get one that the joints will be a little bit um, stiffer than these and she could actually stand on her own. Mine isn't that way. <clears throat> already showed you the collection and like always thanks for watching